Hi, today we are going to learn about quality function deployment QFD, how to build a house of quality and its major applications in industry. So it's another Japanese term I reckon sir. Yeah, it was developed by the Japanese back in the 60s and 70s. It was primary application, in fact its first application was uh, by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries in 1972 to design an oil tanker. Uh, basically use a matrix form to get you to the final solution. So you said just matrix form, what exactly is this matrix form? Uh, this, is, this matrix form is in fact the house of quality that we talk about. Uh, the house of quality takes you systematically step by step from the uh, basic customer requirement to your final production or uh, your final code. So it goes through the whole process, so can we say it's a product development tool? Uh, in fact, you, uh, in fact, though it was started as a product development tool and primarily used by auto industries a lot, uh, it can also be uh, used in a wide range of other applications also, like marketing, uh, quality, uh, sales, or even uh, development. So it has wide range of applications. So you mean to say, it, sir, it can be applied in any market scenario? Uh, well, not all. Uh, in fact, if you see this diagram over here. Uh, you cannot apply it when you have a new product and you want to launch it in a new market because you have no starting point to actually start from, to build your matrices from. In all other scenarios, it is very, very useful. So you mean to say we cannot start, Q we cannot apply QFD in a form where the product is new, we do not have a starting point. Very right, much, sir. very much, you are so, right. So the only advantage, so how, how is this process actually carried out, sir? Let me explain that to you. You basically have four phases. The first phase. Uh, is your product planning. So now over here I am talking about for a typical development cycle. So here you take it from your basic customer requirements to the design requirements that you need on your product. So this is your product planning stage. The second phase would be your part development stage. Here you take your design requirements that have finally emerged out to what should be the final quality characteristics and you try and work it out with your suppliers, with your vendors. This is the second phase. The third phase is your process planning phase where you take it from your part quality characteristics onto the final key process operations that need to be developed in your uh, production cycle. And the final phase for phase 4 is the production planning phase. Here you take it from the process operations onto the production requirements and that helps you to launch the product in the end. So it maps the customer requirements to the product and it's a good a good product development tool which can be applied right. in almost all the market scenarios. Yes. So can you give me some examples or some advantages of using this other than uh, I can only see it reduces development times. Well, uh, if you see over here, it not only reduces your development or implementation time for a project, but is also highly customer driven. Basically, it means that your, su your success of your project is very high. It promotes teamwork within your, within your organization. Basically, you bring all the elements, all the functions of your organization to finally uh, to develop your product. And even, even in terms of, I mean, I don't mean all the functions over here, but functions which are related to product development specifically and to better channelize their thoughts, their uh, ideas into the final product. And it is highly uh, documented process. So this actually helps you in your post production and once it is in the market phase, where you can actually look back and see where you went wrong, if you went wrong, which is uh, pretty much unlikely if you have actually done this method very well. So you asked this, about you asked about application too, right? Yeah. So okay. No. So this has been a more of theoretical explanation we have gone through for yeah. the QFD. Can you give me some real time examples or industries which have used? Well, uh, let me tell you, QFD successes. One is Ritz Carlton. We all know the famous hotel chain, right? So Ritz Carlton used this back in 1993 to actually uh, reduce the number of failures that are happening or to improve the customer loyalty and to address critical deficiencies in the entire process. And here we have Pawan Goenka, the person behind the launch of the Scorpio SUV. Do you know what Mahindra used uh, in, their, uh, in, 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 the, in the development of the Mahindra Scorpio? Must be QFD sir. Yeah, so they used a version of the QFD called IDAM which they developed in-house keeping the basic principles of QFD in mind, IDAM translates to Integrated Design and Manufacturing. So this seems a great product development tool, mapping from customer requirement to design requirement to part quality characteristics and then finally the launch of the product, reducing development times, a well documented procedure. Wow, it's a great tool. If I go into project management, I'll surely use this. Surely you will.